everybody, this is James with Light. I'm going to show you how to calibrate a fuel probe system from Light. What I've done here is I've hooked up a fuel tank with a capacity of two gallons. I've put a fuel probe into that. It goes into the controller box. And I've gone to the trouble to hook it up to a regular fuel gauge and of course also to power. You don't have to have a fuel gauge attached to it to do the programming but I figured might as well. However, you can completely ignore this until the programming of the fuel probe is done. Uh, the tank's empty right here. I've got a half a gallon of water, which is what we're going to use for our demonstration. But when you do it with yours, you're of course going to use the same kind of fuel that you would normally put into your fuel tank. In order to start, what we're going to do here is we're going to cycle the power on the fuel probe controller. So, I just disconnected the power. And then I'm going to hold the 0 and the 1 button down at the same time while I apply power. And you can see that all the lights flash. And as soon as they're done flashing, we're ready to start the calibration process. The tank is currently empty, which is the way that we want it. So as soon as we've got this thing uh, turned on, as we have right now, and we put it into the programming mode, we can hit the very first button. And the first button, of course, is 0. Now it's showing that we've calibrated the zero or empty position on the tank and we're ready to add in our first half gallon of water. Let's do it. Now we're going to wait a couple of minutes for this to settle down. And while it's settling down, I'm going to go ahead and get my next half gallon ready to go. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got another half gallon of water ready to go, and now we're ready to go to the next step. I'm going to hit the 0.25 button, and you can see that the light now moved over to 0.25, and as soon as it does that, we can put in more water. Okay, while that's settling down again, I'm going to go get the next one ready. I'll be right back. I'm back with the next one, and since this is settled down now, we're ready to hit the 0.50, or the half full mark. And you'll see that the red light now has advanced to the 0.5 after I hit the button. As soon as we got that button pushed, we're ready to put in the next batch of liquid. Okay, by now I think you got the drill. 
uh, figured out. While that's settling down, I'm going to go get my final batch of liquid. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with my last half gallon. After I add it, the tank's going to be full. But before I do that, right now we've got three quarters of a tank in there and it's settled down, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the 0.75 button. You can see that light lit up. And as soon as it does that, it's time to put in the last amount of liquid. And if I... If I've... Uh, broken my tang up, tank up into uh, uh, appropriate half gallon increments, this should exactly fill the tank when I get done. Very, very close. I encourage you to do a very accurate job when you do it with your fuel tank. I'm going to set this aside and now we're going to wait a little bit before we hit the final button. Okay, we've waited long enough. You should always be waiting two minutes in between your intervals. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit the final button, the one or full button. And the instant I did it, the light blinked on. And a few seconds later, you're going to see that it starts to blink on the zero button about every four seconds. If you see that blink right there, you have successfully programmed your fuel probe system. If you see a solid light, then it's giving you an error saying that something was not done correctly and that there's some kind of problem. Now if you look over here on our fuel gauge, you'll see that for the first time it's come to life and very slowly it's advancing from zero and in about a minute it's going to show that we have a full tank of fuel. This thing did not start working until the programming process was completed. I'm going to show you a little bit about the wiring while we're, that we're waiting for that to come up too. It's really simple. Here's our power. This is about 12 volts. I've got ground. The ground is going to the fuel probe system. The ground is also going to the fuel gauge. I've got the red, which is power. It's coming from over here. And it's also going to the probe controller and to the fuel gauge. And then I've got the orange wire, which comes out of the probe controller and comes into the fuel gauge. Okay, come over here. You'll see that it is now showing that we have a full tank of gas. We have successfully programmed the B-Light fuel probe system. Thanks for your patience. Let us know if you have any problems or questions. We appreciate your business.